for your results and the hand of God upon your life the help of God revealed in and through his mercy listen please listen to me I like you to pray you're going to cry to the God of heaven and say father I give up depending on the flesh I am now aware that if I continue in the flesh there are things that there are victories there are dimensions of results in the spirit and in this life I cannot command I give up the flesh and I embrace the lifestyle of the spirit lift your voice and pray 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 are you praying Lord we give up the flesh Shalanda Bakata man of God ministry in the flesh will only frustrate you businessman business just with the flesh without a spiritual advantage Let me prophesy to your life now. You will never be the same. You've touched His grace. Your life is changed. You will never be the same. You've touched His grace. Your life must change. You will never be the same. You've touched His grace. Your life must change. Your life must change. Your life must change. Your life must change. I I I. I can never be the same after she's great. My life is changed. I can never be the same after your grace. I want to pray for you. Listen. Please hear me. Please hear me. Let me say this before I pray. Just give me five more minutes. There is a mighty deliverance that is going to happen here now. But listen to me. I understand there is a special session for ministers, pastors, strictly ministers. You are a pastor here or you know a pastor, you are in ministry, ordained. I don't know if ordained workers are allowed, but please and please, I'd like you to do your best by the grace of God. As much as it is within your power, whatever sacrifice it will take to be here, make that sacrifice. I will be sharing with you a few revelations on end time ministry that the Lord has revealed to me. And I trust in the name of Jesus that fire from heaven will fall upon your life and ignite your ministry in a dimension you have never seen. Hallelujah. And then by the grace of God as the Lord allows tomorrow night will be a miracle service in this place yes i believe in miracles i have seen the hand of god we are going to trust god to have a holy convocation over this city and particularly 
I believe that one of the graces that will be present in this place is the grace for fruitfulness. You love anyone and you know anyone that is trusting the Lord, please. I like you to believe God with them. Not just fruitfulness biologically alone, but in any area. Let us, let's make this conference as profitable as it can be. But right now I want to pray for you. I just have five minutes. We have to close. But hear me. I cannot talk about the mercy of God without allowing that mercy find expression in your life. I want to pray for you right now. There are people here you are in need of God's mercy. This is not an altar call. I'll make the altar call shortly. But there are yokes that are tying down destinies. You are moving physically. But in the realm of the spirit, you are bound. It says to deliver those who are bound in prison, in chains. I want to pray for you right now. You are not only standing for yourself. Some of you are standing for your families. There are age-long altars. Some of you are even pastors. You are in ministry. Even though you are saving others, healing others. But it looks like there are chains holding you. It's time for you to be free right now. Hallelujah. I want to pray for you. And at the count of three, I want you to shout that name, Jesus. Hold on. Hold on. Spirit of the living God, I pray across the length and breadth of this auditorium and for those watching and following from any part of the world you have revealed to us the futility of the flesh outside of the assistance of heaven outside of the assistance of the realm of the spirit the realm of the spirit becomes the support structure for men the mystery by which men rise and father there are men and women here who are being manipulated from the realm of the spirit whose destinies whose children whose finances whose spiritual lives are under siege but it is upon mount zion that there is deliverance and holiness the bible says and then the sons of jacob shall possess their possessions Therefore, I speak over the realm of the spirit by the authority that has been given to me and by the blood of the Lamb that every altar and every yoke of darkness holding any family please, I want you to bring them out help them whether you are an usher or not at the count of three, shout Jesus fire is going to move across this place and altars are going to be on fire are you ready? one, two Three, shout Jesus. Atmosphere, shift now. Change people. Bring them out. The Paraposhata. Holy Spirit. I command altars. I command yokes. Leave them now. Release those people now. Sing the atmosphere, atmosphere, shift. The Lord is giving me an instruction. Please lay your hands on your head. I want to pray for you. Just do what I'm asking you to do. Everyone's glory that has been exchanged, my God, fire is falling in the realm of the spirit. That the glory of people has been exchanged. The destiny you are living is not your own. At the count of three, I prophesy, may fire fall upon you. One, two, three, be delivered now. Be delivered now. Kebekato soto beke delekata. Kebrandas kata. By the blood of Jesus, the blood of the eternal covenant, we rewrite stories from the realm of the spirit. Hallelujah. Stretch your hands towards me. 
your hand is a symbol of your productivity i want to pray for you i'm seeing many people's hands with chains holding their hands some of you the call of god upon your life has refused to speak till now because of these ordinances there's fire physical fire you will feel it coming on the hands of many in the name of jesus right now i declare and declare lord where are they as many who have been held down by these demonic chains right now at the count of three shout jesus let those chains break one two three break now break now break now hallelujah there is someone god is delivering right now objects moving in your body you feel physical objects moving i declare wherever you are as revealed to me by the spirit be delivered right now all of those who are in front and all those who the power of god came over i speak to the spirits that manipulate you you know my voice i speak as one sent at the count of three release these destinies one two three go 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 out of their destinies out of their lives release their families hallelujah bishop sir i'm not a prophet of doom but i just saw a vision now i don't know which man of god in this city is sick but we have to pray because i'm seeing an obituary of a man of god in this city that everybody knows something is wrong with his health but in the name of jesus i'm not a prophet of doom please understand what i'm saying i hope you you, you understand what i'm saying I'm just revealing to you what God showed me because with what I'm seeing it will happen before the end of this year but in the name of Jesus let's agree together the church in Enugu state we reject death I stand by the privilege of God's grace with our fathers and the elders representing the body of Christ we reject the plague of death over any servant of God here in the name of Jesus Christ listen please let me give you a little assignment between tonight and tomorrow please as you sleep i want you to find sacrifice any one hour this is a training are we together between now and the morning or the evening for those of you who will come please sacrifice any one hour and stay with god and pray in the spirit and generate power in your spirit man you can do it in groups if you want to are we together now conquer sleep you will not die in the name of jesus christ are we together now put your alarm clock and be serious wake up in the night you are a man of god here you should not be told i'm not saying just sing and sleep and wake up and sleep be serious don't pray on your bed stand up walk around and pray strengthen your spirit man there is something god is doing many of you as you are praying god is going to be telling you the matters of your destiny write it down are we together now please if you will permit me reverend daniel and our bishop as i would always do tomorrow night please i like you everyone here come with your prayer request what has threatened the name of jesus over your life i'd like you to bring it here and let's see whether jesus christ lost his power please hear what i'm saying i don't care what it is i want you to write it by the grace of god come with it your loved ones no matter where they are around the world they can send it to you via text or whatever platform and then let's have it here in the course of the miracle service i'm going to be praying on those requests i have a covenant with god of answered prayer i assure you in the name of jesus the son of the living god my god will surprise you in a way that will bring tears of joy from your eyes 
Hallelujah. I release you into angelic encounters tonight. I pray that the angels that signify revelations may they move across the length and breadth of Enugu state. I release prophetic dreams within this season. Dreams that reveal the matters of destiny in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for you. Many of you, even from tonight, you will start receiving restoration of dreams and visions that you used to have. And I pray for those of you who have laxity towards prayer, laxity towards spiritual things, fresh fire upon you this night. So please, all through this conference, spiritualize your mind. Just minimize carelessness, traveling around, gisting and wasting your time. Be very serious. Some of you, as you go home now, it's not just to go and be gisting around. You stay, study something, take some time to pray. You can eat, refresh, wake up later in the night. You can set your alarm clock, maybe 15, 20 minutes to the intended time. Wake up, struggle for 10, 20 minutes. You are up on your feet and now you pray. Just do what I'm asking you to do. It's, it's an exercise, it's a discipline that will produce power upon your spirit man. In the name of Jesus, may the Lord bless you. May the Lord honor you tonight. In Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Please, let's settle down. Give me just one or two minutes. I want to make an announcement that is very important. By tomorrow morning, the conference is open for everyone in leadership, number one. The number two, there's something we'll do every year. Each year, Apostle visits the East. But this time around, I want to beg the Southeast. Let us make sure that by tomorrow night be the last section of this meeting if you are coming here prepare also a sacrifice a covenant sacrifice that you will drop at the altar for apostle you see god has helped him god has blessed him he's, he's not looking for our seed or offering but we have to take we have to do everything to carry this grace and to be blessed by this grace so by tomorrow we are going to be giving uh, to the ministry of apostle if you're coming here prepare a sacrifice and at the end of the service tomorrow night he's going to be praying for all of us make it uh, a date tomorrow night you are coming as you are writing your prayer request let god speak to you over what you will be giving or sowing in the ministry and the life of apostle he has blessed the east he has blessed the southeast now this is the fifth time fifth year that he has visited the east from 2016 and god has been helping us but tomorrow please we know that you've been sowing but this time around let it be a sacrifice are you hearing what i'm saying now I, I'm, I, before he will come up to before he will go down uh, he will by the grace of god i will ask him to pray for our sacrifice this is one of the things that has changed my life uh, if you attend apostolic invasion you will agree with me that we we'll do it every year from 2016 don't prepare an offering no prepare something that will shift your destiny the lord bless you the lord keep you i want to appreciate our fathers once again for being in this place god bless you in the name of jesus tomorrow's section will start by 8 a.m and tomorrow apostle will be dedicating our twins so it's going to be something else it's going to be something else hallelujah the lord bless the southeast in jesus name may we stand up father will thank you if you have not given your offering for this evening you can come out and drop it here father in the name of jesus will thank you for tonight as we go home tonight prepare our spirit for this encounter thank you father in jesus mighty name we've prayed may the grace of our lord jesus christ the love of god let me hear the rest
Uh -huh. Surely his goodness and mercy is following us all the days of our life. We are dwelling in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Shalom. May the Lord bless you. Remember what the apostle said. Make this night a night of prayer. The Lord bless you. In Jesus' mighty name, we've prayed. Shalom.